Hello everyone, Coach Keith here of Create Your Life's Journey. Today I'd like to review with you Bob Parsons' 16 Rules for Success and just for life in general. Let's get started. The first one is just to stay out of your comfort zone. When you are in your comfort zone, not much of significance really happens. You aren't growing unless you are getting out of that comfort zone. That's when your real growth in business and as a person takes place. The more you step out of your comfort zone, the more that you will grow as a person and in business and you'll create that new comfort zone. Don't ever give up. Almost nothing works the first time. Just because something that you are trying isn't working doesn't mean it doesn't work. What it really means is that it isn't working the way you are doing it. Maybe you need to find or try a different way of doing it. After all, if it was that easy, wouldn't everybody else be doing it too? You are closer than you think when you're ready to quit. You are only three feet from gold. What I'm talking about there is those that have read the, th the book, Think, Think and Grow Rich, you will know about the story about the man who was drilling for gold back in the gold rush. He bought a lot of equipment, bought the rights to some property, was drilling, had minor success, but he knew there was a big vein there. But he gave up, he quit after months and months of trying. Then he sold all the equipment and all the rights to the mine. The same guy drilled in the same shaft. Three feet later, he hit the biggest gold vein to that time. So don't ever give up, because if you keep going, you will hit it, so don't quit. Just when we feel like quitting is usually when we have our biggest breakthroughs. And an old Chinese proverb says, the temptation to quit will be greatest just before you are about to succeed. Don't quit. It will never be as bad as we envision. We always seem to envision things worse than what they really are. This is where a lot of fear sets in also. Always ask yourself, what is the worst that can happen? Then, know that will probably never be that bad and move forward with what you're trying to do. Number five, focus on the results that you want to have. You become what you think about and you get what you think about. Always focus on the results that you want even in the face of adversity. This is the basic law of attraction. Always focus on the results you want even if things aren't going your way because you will always get more of what you think about. Number six says always take things one day at a time. I'm talking to all the worriers out here. Even in a difficult situation, you will get through it if you do not look too far into the future. Just focus on the things you can control in the present moment. You can get through anything if you just focus on it one day at a time. A lot of us are worriers and we worry about things that may never happen. So focus on the present moment and just focus on today's problem. Find your solution for today's problem and the things you can control. A lot of us worry about things that we can't even control. So focus on today's problem, just take it one day at a time. Number seven says, always be moving forward. Make it a goal to get better, even in some small way, every single day. If you stop moving forward, that means you stop growing and your inner spirit will die, as well as your dreams and goals in life. Be quick to decide. <laughs> I'm talking about all these perfectionists out there now. Do not procrastinate on decisions. It is better to decide 
and start something rather than waiting for it to be perfect. If you wait for something to be perfect, you will never start it. It will never be perfect, except that. It's better to get started right now and adjust as you go along than to procrastinate and wait for things to be perfect. Measure everything of significance. Anything that is measured improves. How do you know how well you are doing unless you measure it? You may even be doing better than you know. So just measure the things of significance. Number 10 is anything that is not managed will deteriorate. If you want to uncover some problems and <laughs> you don't know about it, take a few moments to closely look at the areas you haven't examined in a while. I guarantee you'll find some problems there. Always manage what you can in your life and in business. You don't have to micromanage, but manage it. Otherwise, it will deteriorate. There's an old saying that you can't expect what you don't inspect. So always manage things, otherwise they will deteriorate. Number 11 says pay attention to your competition, but pay more attention to what you are doing. Remember, everything looks better from a distance. Does the old saying, the grass is greener on the other side? You ever heard that? Well, turn over grass, it's dirt, on the other side. Even Earth looks like a peaceful place if you get far enough out into space. So always pay more attention to what you are doing more than anybody else. Number 12 says never let anybody push you around. Our laws and even are an even playing field. It gives you as much right as anyone else to do what you are doing, providing it's legal. So, but just don't let anybody push you around or steal your dreams. Because you have as much right as anybody else to do what you want, provided it's legal. Stand up for yourself, speak up for yourself, and don't let anybody push you around. Number 13, never expect life to be fair. How many times have you heard that? Well, life isn't fair. Well, yeah, of course life isn't fair. Life is not fair, so don't expect it to be. If we lower our expectations a little bit, we won't be disappointed, will we? You make your own luck and your own breaks. Keep that in mind. You really do make your own luck by the attitude that you have towards life and to control the thoughts that you are thinking. Because remember, we get what we think about. Take things as they come as you can only control your reaction to situations. So life is not fair. Don't expect it to be. Solve your own problems. By coming up with your own solutions, you'll develop a competitive edge. The co-founder of Sony, Masura Abuka, said, you never succeed in technology, business, or anything else by following others. So look for your own solutions to your problems. You can do some research, but make your own decisions and don't depend on somebody else to solve your problems for you. Number 15, don't take life too seriously. Chill out. Lighten up. None of us are in as much control as we think we are. Half of what we accomplish is by accident. So lighten up and don't take life too seriously. Don't be the worry wart. And the last one, there is always a reason to smile. You just need to find it. You are lucky to be alive. There is always someone worse off than you. Be thankful for what you have. There will always be somebody that has more than us. There will always be somebody that has less than us. Be thankful for what you have every single day. 
If you wake up every morning and be thankful for breathing in the air that you are breathing in, living the life that you are living, whether it's what you want to be living at the moment or not, be thankful for it. Because there's always somebody worse off than you. Now those are the 16 rules for success and for life in general by Bob Parsons. I hope you got a lot out of this, or at least a little bit, and get you thinking about your life and your success. I'd like to leave you with my tagline by George Bernard Shaw. Life isn't about finding yourself. Life is about creating yourself. You can create the life that you want to have, but it's up to you. Your future will be created for you one way or the other. Whether you're just going to continue on as you are and let life circumstances create your future for you, or you can take control of your life and start creating the kind of future you want. So again, this is Coach Keith of Create Your Life's Journey. I hope you enjoyed this little video.